Hi, all. I'm Dan Smakerod, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum. Today is Wednesday, August 22nd, 2018, and you're watching WGAN-TV Live at 5. Our topic today, Bluetooth Beacons Meets 3D Tour Marketing for Matterport Service Providers. Super show for you. Hey, Dorothy, good to see you. I'm going to introduce you in a second, but good good to see you on camera there. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 really, the, I think the, the key question to be asking on this topic is imagine that a, a prospective home buyer drives by a house uh, that's for sale and automatically receives a link on their smartphone to a Matterport 3D tour or to a single property website. So that's the gist of what our show is going to be about today. We'll also talk about retail. Um, but I want to bring in our expert in our studio audience, uh, in our virtual studio today, uh, um, um, Allen Retail Group founder, Dorothy Allen. Dorothy, again, good to see you. Good to see you, Dan. Thank you. And, and you're, you're actually, a, I think, a, a double hitter because you're also a Matterport service provider. I am a Matterport service provider, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe even speak a little bit to Matterport and to um, your expertise in retail, even before we jump into this this uh, this topic of uh, Bluetooth beacons. Sure. Um, I spent the last 25 years as a retail strategist uh, working for uh, a very large advertising agency in Dallas uh, prior to breaking out on my own. Uh, so I've worked, I, I led the Frito-Lay account, I worked on Pepsi, uh, all of the big brands. Um, and when I was introduced to a Matterport camera, I, I saw it from the uh, production side. So making floor plans, being able to do before and after uh, as it relates to in-store design. And I thought, wow, that, that's got a lot of marketing potential. Um, so I, the, the people that I was working with at the time who had this camera, I, I said, listen, I, I think we could actually leverage this and make some money off it on the marketing side. And they didn't want to go there. They weren't comfortable with it. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to have to go do it myself. So I, I went out, I bought a Matterport camera. I started spinning it, learning it. And I, I do have a degree in photography. I went to school many, many years ago. I have a degree in commercial photography. Um, and it, it's, you know, doing 360 is quite different um, than doing a DSLR. But, uh, you know, from the Matterport, I, I began to learn a lot about just advanced 360 imaging last winter. I mean, the whole thing has just been at one continuous learning curve. And for, for somebody like myself, who's a strategist, you know, I, I love taking the pictures, but I, I think there's other things that we can uh, get broader on uh, as a community, as individual businesses to help us make money. I, I, I don't know anybody who's actually making money just as a Matterport photographer, um, but my sphere is somewhat small. Um, but there are ways to, you know, once you have those 360 images, there are other things that you can do with them, and there's other ways to link to them. Uh, Dorothy, my sphere is actually pretty big, and I don't know anyone that makes a living solely as a Matterport service provider. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's really important that you know we do shows like this in, in order to uh, help uh, Matterport service providers, 3D tour photographers, uh, Cupix photographers, whatever it might be, understand um, uh, what is either a threat or an opportunity mm -hmm. and, and what are all the other technologies uh, that are available to help them uh, um, the, the word I, I think you in an earlier conversation we, I think you were talking about um, before the show is dif diversification of a business in terms of add-ons of what a Matterport service provider can offer in right. part to help differentiate them from yet another Matterport service provider. So right. uh, for, forgive me for interjecting there, but I, I, I think, you know, you, you were, you, your springboard there was, I don't know that anyone who is a Matterport service provider uh, that solely makes a living just shooting Matterport. And I, I think that's a you know, a great place to kind of, for you to pick up the conversation. Yeah, you know, I would say to those that went in the business to be a Matterport provider and aren't achieving that, that's when you have to look at these images are more than just a tour. There are other things you can do with them. You know, today we're going to talk about how we can connect them to beacons. There's, there's other shows that we can do, but, you know, I've spent my life as a business developer slash retail strategist. So, I, I look at some of the things that are out there and I'm happy to bring them to the to the table to help people diversify and, and really begin to build a business. You know, it's, it's very low cost, uh, high perceived value, um, and it's something that can work harder for you at, uh, as, a, as a business unit. So, Thank you. Well, we're, 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 we're super excited that you've been a member of the We Get Around Network Forum community for, for quite some time. 
uh, and uh, you wanted to bring us uh, up to speed about the uh, Bluetooth beacons. Um, I, I've kind of teed it up to say, hey, um, uh, uh, um, uh, I've just, you know, Im imagine that a prospective home buyer has just driven by a house. It's got a for sale sign. Um, and all of a sudden they get a message on their smartphone. Mm -hmm. So how is that even possible? Well, um, you know, Bluetooth, and these are low energy Bluetooth beacons. It, let me tell you what beacons were originally used for, okay? Originally they were used kind of in the AEC space and people would put a beacon on um, all the large equipment in a building and then you, somebody would have an app on a device, whether it was a phone or whatever, and that would actually help the service rep get to the equipment that needed to be serviced. I mean, you go into a million square foot building, it's not always easy to find that. So that was the original idea. Beacons actually throw out a, what I call a very non-discerning signal. It's for the ones that I, I use, they're 300 yards. It's casting it in a, probably more of like a 210 degree, uh, right, or 300 degree de or 360. It really depends on if it's attached to something because if it's attached to a wall, it's gonna block the signal going backwards. But um, long story short is it is looking for a receptor to place that message, okay? So if you think about people say, oh, that's just like near field. No, it's not. Near field is actually set to a very specific range, okay? Anything beyond that range is out of range. Um, and Wi-Fi is really a signal that's looking for a certain uh, amount of strength and connectivity. So Bluetooth is a little, I don't want to call it not discerning, but you know, if there's a Bluetooth within 300 yards, it's going to send a message. And that, that's how it's set up. So, uh, you know, when you think about driving by, even if people drive by a side, Dan, I have to tell you something. We see oh, well over 4,000 messages a day between outside and inside, right? There's only seven things that your brain can remember at any given time. And every brand in the world wants to be one of those, okay? So you can drive by and never see the sign. But I got news for you, when that notification hits your phone and it's a silent notification, it's going to stay there until you do something with it. You're either going to dismiss it or you're going to look at it. And this is why I say beacons are the only 100% brand awareness uh, device that you can actually use because people will have to look at the notification to either, I say, swipe left or swipe right. Depends on what they want to do with it, right? So you might never see the sign, but you probably will likely see that on your phone. If it's relevant to you, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to click on it. So it sounds like we really needed to do a show on Tinder for uh, home buyers. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, well, but I, I'm, like I'm married and I don't know what that is, but I, <laughs> I, I somehow figured out to, to say that. But you know, so even, even to that point, what about the Matterport provider who's driving all over God's green earth? Why would he not have one of these in his car promoting his own business? How do people find you? It's not easy. And they don't know what Matterport is. In fact, I don't think most people even know how to really look up or Google a 3D virtual tour. Um, you know, reality capture, I think, is starting to actually come into its own as a, as a word, a keyword. But I, I think most people just don't really know how to even Google it. So well, they're, they're going to find it on your beacon. So uh, let, let's beacon. let's stick with this drive by. So uh, a okay. prospective buyer, uh, uh, maybe even a real estate agent looking at prospective houses for a client, but you, let's say homeowner or, or prospective buyer uh, drives by a house for sale. It's got a real estate agent's sign out front. Mm -hmm. What else is attached to that sign that's enabling that message to show up uh, on a smartphone? Uh, just the beacon. A beacon. Now, I, I happen to have one of your beacons here. Yep. This is a big one. That, yep. that the range, I think, is about 300 yards, but I suspect you have some smaller ones to actually attach to a sign. Well, actually, yes. There's one called the outdoor. Um, if you are going to be outdoor with no overhang for coverage, then you would want to put the outdoor on there. It's it's a little bit, it's actually a little bit more like rectangular than what you see there. It's black. Um, and you would just, yeah, you would just actually put it on the post, okay? And uh, it would just 724, 365 be sending out a message. So um, it's, but if it, it is made for outdoor, it's, it's completely watertight and mm -hmm. it run, runs on AA batteries and it's going to run for three to five years, depending on I, the range. You're setting. I happen to opt one for the, the longest range, yep. um, which I want to say was about three U.S. football fields. Yep. 300 and, yards. And, 300 uh, yards. Uh, so. 
uh, that would be three football fields. How about that? that? Yep. Um, uh, so, uh, but for a sign that uh, for a house for sale sign, you don't necessarily need one that broadcasts for three football fields. And, and I believe you can set the distance too. So if you truly just yes. want it's somebody to drive by and you say, I want it set for about 10 yards. Right. Right. You can, just, you can actually set it and it will go 10 yards. It'll actually save the battery a bit more than anything. Okay. And so it's pinging away, uh, mm -hmm. sending out this message to, to smartphones. Now, um, I, I happen to have a, an iPhone. So why don't we begin with my iPhone? What, what shows up on my iPhone? Well, what's going to, well, for your iPhone, you're not going to be able to see a notification. Okay. Now, a lot of people go, oh, you're kidding. Well, iPhones are 38% of the U.S. market. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I like. I, I feel silly because I have an iPhone too. My husband has the uh, the Android, but Androids are uh, in in June. It was defined as sixty one percent of the market. By now, it's probably more like sixty three percent of the market. They're out selling apples uh, in the U S. I'm not talking about this globally. Okay. And I will so tell you, so uh, today, Wednesday, August twenty second, two thousand and eighteen, we're talking about reaching approximately sixty sixty five percent of the homeowner, the prospective buyers that are driving by. Uh, because um, six out of 10 are going to have an Android phone. That's right. All right. That's Do I need to know how this message shows up? Is there some special technology that's on an Android phone that's not on a smartphone that enables this? Well, it rides on top of Google Nearby. In October of last year, Android de decided that they were going to uh, either out of the box or on every startup, you know, turn your phone on, turn your phone off, that Google Nearby was going to be set to on so that they could receive these messages. So you, you can go in, I think it's three or four clicks, if you will, and turn it nearby off. But if you turn your phone off, it's going to come right back on. Um, and I've actually talked with other people. I, I don't have a, a Samsung or a Android, my husband does, but I've talked to people who have them and I, I said, do you get notifications? Are you seeing them? They're like, oh yeah, I get, them, I get them every day. I'm like, so what do you think? They're like, yeah, sometimes they're useful, sometimes they're not but it's not a big deal. It's not like it vibrates or sends a signal, doesn't interrupt me. I actually get to look at it when I get home or, or when I'm free. So in that way, it's not an uh, obnoxious way to message somebody. And it allows them the control of actually looking at the message when they're ready to receive a message. Okay. Um, so that's probably enough on that piece of the technology. I imagine if anybody's interested in Google nearby, N-E-A-R, B Y yeah. one word that they could Google Google nearby and uh, get a deep dive in it. But we're today's show is really about marketing and how you can make money with beacon. So we're not going to go too, too, too far off the, the deep end. Uh, the, the point is it's six out of 10 of, uh, of people in the U S have an Android phone. Uh, it, uh, all those Android phones today are shipped with uh, Google nearby enabled. Right. And, and, and all of those that have like, upgraded to that uh, most recent Android uh, back in October, those will work as well. So, listen, I think if your hardware is maybe over three years old, it might be glitchy, but you're talking about a lot of people have refreshed their, their uh, operating system. So, okay. So, this is a way uh, I drive, uh, the prospective buyer drives by the house, uh, has an Android phone, gets a message. Um, uh, how big is that message? How long is that message? W what happens with that message? Does it link someplace? Yes, uh, it's a 40 character message. So, you know, you can do everything from house for sale to, you know, three bedroom, two bath, whatever, however you want to do that. Um, and then you can link it to really any live URL. So if you have a single page website that you want people to go to, you can link it to that. Uh, if you want to link it directly to a Matterport um, tour, you can do that. Um, you can link it to a video, a any live URL, it will actually uh, run to, so a run off of. Okay, terrific. And uh, okay, so now we have, uh, I'm a Matterport service provider. Uh, I've talked to the real estate agent and I've used this as a way to differentiate my Matterport service provider business as a value add mm -hmm. to help actually get people to look at the single property website for that house. Mm -hmm. um, why, what, what's the story for the real estate agent to tell the, um, the potential listing? Uh, uh, a real estate agent meets with the homeowner who wants to list their house for sale. And the homeowner says, um, 
I got a million dollar house. Mm -hmm. um, I'm talking to three agents. Why should I list my house with you? Where does Beacons fit into this conversation? Well, I mean, as you mentioned, the potential drive-bys is one, but that, that real estate agent could also put that beacon in her car and drive around town and be messaging all over the place with that beacon. So they can be portable. You just have to toggle it from stationary to mobile on, the, in, in the, on your uh, back office app on your phone. Um, and that, that helps Google understand what it is, where it is. And uh, so you can drive around with it. I mean, you could use it for an open house if you wanted to, if you wanted to message, if you want to put that beacon, not at the house, but maybe somewhere nearby where there's a lot of cross traffic, you can actually stick it over there. I, I've got some up and down what's called 289 here uh, in uh, North Texas. And, you know, we've got thousands of cars going by a day and it can blast out to the street 300 yards and people are getting, I, I know they're getting the notifications. I can count them. <laughs> Yeah, in fact, I, I could imagine that uh, if it, if uh, if North Texas is anything like Atlanta, there's a lot of real estate agents that have billboards with their pictures on it. Uh, yes, sir. some of the larger agents. I could imagine even going back to that agent and say, "Hey, we can make your your billboard interactive. Um, we, oh, can for sure. it, we can have it. We can have your we can have your billboard link to your website." Right, right. And, you know, uh, if, if uh, somebody's working with a number of different uh, agents and they want. Uh, they want they want to have the beacon for their open house, or they want to rent it for a week. I mean, you you kind of have to just de decide what your price is, but you can also rent it out to these agents to use for announcements or to you know advertise wherever the case may be. It's a mm -hmm. kind of a side thing that you can do to make the beacon work for you. Yeah, you know, and I I, I would imagine uh, that. Um, you know, if I can think of the, the real estate agents that I've talked to, most really are salespeople. And they're 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 just not that tech savvy. So, it it sounds like uh, as a, as a photographer, a kind of a geeky photographer, that I can be in control of that Bluetooth beacon in their behalf. And right. so, if they want the message changed, if they um, and, and I can be doing suggestive selling to say, hey, you know, we can attach it to this property. Uh, this is what it costs for your three month listing or your six month listing, your 12 month. Do you want to attach it to your billboard? What else? And, and, and I can control that because I actually control what's on the beacon. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I don't necessarily have to give up that control to the agent, nor do they have to understand how any of this works. It's just, okay, they want their beacon change to uh, link to their website or to the single property yeah. website for a house, or they're moving it around as we shoot Matterport 3D tours mm -hmm. for different houses. Mm -hmm. uh, that house sells, boom, they're using it for the next house. So the, the, the device itself can be repurposed. Exactly. It can repurpose. It really, I'll tell you what, the refresh rate on it, I mean, uh, in a, an overkill world is it takes a minimum of 20 minutes to refresh because the wording on the message has to go through a word algorithm. There's certain things you cannot promote on beacons, which is alcohol, pornography. Um, there's one other one, but you know, Google's looking for certain words. And if it has any of those words in it, you can't use it. Um, but, you know, we're in a space where we're not dealing with that. So the refresh is pretty, pretty quick. And it's kind of like a smart AI where, you know, one beacon is being used for certain things. The AI kind of begins to learn what industry you're in. So, yeah. but it's about a 20 minute refresh. Yeah. Okay. So um, are there other, other ways that a photographer, a Matterport service provider might suggest to a real estate agent to use the beacon? And, and I, I and I always think about um, how do you help the agent make money because that's what they care about. How do I get, how do I get more listing presentations? How do I win more listings? Um, how do I kind of trade up to get bigger premium listings and kind of do that more often? So um, knowing that I really want to focus on how we can help Matterport service providers make money with Bluetooth beacons, are there other things that come to mind for yeah, real, real estate agents before we get onto other verticals? Um, I would say, you know, even in the open house process, uh, you can actually put a beacon in a room if you want to, uh, for specific call outs about that room, you know, whether it's the heart plumbing hardware or the beautiful tile or, you know, listen, when, when people are going through any new house, there's a lot to take in and it's a way to really pinpoint and, and have that reminder on the phone when they leave, right? So it can be used outside for messaging. It can also be used internally or inside for messaging. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Other ways for 
Other ways for a residential real estate agent, commercial real estate agent to use the Bluetooth beacons? Well, I mean, really to message for themselves on behalf of their own business or even to find new business. I mean, how many people are potentially going to sell their house, right? And we don't know it. And this might be a way to get in front of people before they're even really willing to have that discussion with somebody, right? Uh, uh, right. And, and I think that actually works two ways, Dorothy. Um, uh one might think that that's a way for a real estate agent or broker to prospect for, are you planning to sell your house or whatever the the, the, the message uh, is from the real estate agent. But frankly, as a photographer, I would like to have, I would like to be able to introduce that client to my real estate agent clients. I'd like that's to, a good in, point. I'd like to, yeah, I'd, uh, uh, thank you. I, I'd like to introduce that home prospective home seller to a client because I am going to get zero pushback. And oh, by the way, we're going to do Matterport photo, video, aerial, drone, painted rocks, and whatever else that package includes at full retail price that the agent is going to be happy to pay because we're delivering a, um, a client to them. Exactly. I exactly. left out beacons. I left out Bluetooth beacons in that list. Excuse me. Yeah. But maybe that was the painted rocks. <laughs> you know, painted rocks with Bluetooth beacons. Well, you know, listen, if you think about it, Dan, whether you're driving or you're going to the local football game, I mean, here in Salina, I live in football country. It's a religion here. There's, I don't know, probably a thousand to two thousand people in Salina's uh, uh, stadium, which is small by comparison to everybody else around here. Everybody, 60 percent of those people in those stands are going to get a message on their phone if I walk through that stadium with a beacon. It, it just it's how non-discriminating a beacon is. Right. So. I, I want some video of that. I want some 360 <laughs> video of that. If you, if everybody in the stadium is watching football, but you're you're there drumming up a uh, business of, uh, are you planning to sell your house because you want to right. introduce them to the to the real yeah. estate agent? Remember something. The good news is because it's not invasive, they're not going to get that message probably until they get home, unless they're looking at something else on their phone while they're doing it. So it's. I think that's what I like about it. It's kind of one of those lasting things. It stays there until they are either forced to get rid of it or click through to it, right? So it, it's not a, a glancing by type of message. You know, you're, it's like billboards, you kind of have to remember if you saw it. Well, this this stays with you. And uh, okay, so the, I think that you, 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 you get an okay client buys your Matterport, Bluetooth beacon, aerial drone, etc. cetera. Uh, I could imagine the client's going to turn around and say, well, okay, well, how many people saw my message on their phone? Is there a way to, to know that? Yes, there is. There's a, the back office analytics will give you the number of notifications that you get every day and it will give the, the number of click throughs every day. You got, I, can you show us something to, to uh, what, a, what a report looks like? Yep. Can I just share my screen with you? Real yeah, quick? that's it. Okay. That'll work. So if you're just tuning in, you're watching WGAN TV live at five. Our guest today is Dorothy Allen, uh, Allen Retail Group. Uh, Dorothy is also a Matterport service provider uh, in the North Texas area, and she's taking us through Bluetooth beacons meets uh, 3D tour marketing, um, in particular for um, Matterport service providers. There we um, go. Sorry about all yeah. that. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're, uh, we're we're looking at some some bars on a chart. You are. You are looking at bars on the chart. This is an aggregated view. This is five beacons in the marketplace. It gives you the date across the bottom here. So we're at August 21st. Um, and, you know, this, this, I only had a couple beacons out. Now that we've got at least five out in the marketplace here. And you can see that there, we're, we're building the number of notifications. Mm -hmm. um, and that drop off today is because we've only had a partial day and you're in Texas. So we, we haven't had the full day and you're right. talking to me, you're not out driving around town. That's so, right. uh, what, so those five beacons, uh, I can't read the number, uh, for yesterday. Can you just share us with the, yeah, the number for yesterday is 887. Now yesterday, nobody got a click through. And I, I think what I want people to understand, and this, this is just from my, uh, background in advertising. In advertising, it will take people three, four, five times seeing a message before they actually even think about touching a message, right? So you have to get your beacon into the marketplace. You really should change your message at least every three days to keep it fresh. 
Um, right now, uh, and, th and actually, that's the easiest. Excuse me, Dorothy. Let's let's come off uh, the screen share there, unless there was something else to show us there. Okay. Uh, well, actually, let me just go to this one. This is an actual okay. one beacon, right? Mm -hmm. um, this is actually a, a lab testing blood te testing service, um, and you can see here where I've actually got I, I'm changing my message a little bit more frequently than normal, but uh, I did hit on what were some good phrases for. I changed it. I shouldn't. I should have left it there, but. Um, you know, you, you look at the notifications and then you look at how many people click through. So you really kind of got to, um, it's, it's a little bit of a testing in the initial mm -hmm. phase. So. so how'd you do with the uh, got HIV, uh, uh, find out privately. <laughs> haven't, haven't tried that one, but you know, what's interesting. I will tell you what's interesting. I, I did try something like we got your number, right? Cause it's all about numbers, which didn't do really well. But then I just said affordable lab testing service. And boom, people went went to it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can be cagey and cryptic, and it yeah. works. Other times you just need to be flat out boom. This is yeah. Try got herpes with a question mark. <laughs> get 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 back to me on that. I, I'm not I'm not sure if they're going <laughs> to click for that one, but. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but the point is, you can change the message, and you can change it as, as often, you, as frequently as you would like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I will tell you right now. Currently, the only way to track which message works is you do have to do a little bit of note taking. Uh, <clears throat> shortly, we'll be able to actually capture each message and its click throughs in a given day. But uh, right now, it's just one aggregated day. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the, the 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 good news, bad news here is that this is new technology. So the the bad news is that feature is not ready today. The the good news is uh, for for those that are watching our show, um, this is relatively new. We're talking about uh, something that started in fourth quarter of two thousand and seventeen. Uh, is that correct? With Google yeah. near Google nearby. Right. Well, Google nearby being turned on automatically on Android started in October seventeen. There were nearby messages before. But people didn't turn their nearby on. They didn't even know they had it. Didn't know they had it. So I think that's, uh, tell us the date again, October. October of 2017. Yeah, October 2017, uh, less than a year ago, mm -hmm. that the capability that you're describing with the Google nearby automatically activated yeah. um, is, is really kind of a, a watershed date in this space. Right. Um, and so I think like anything else, many of us who looked at Matterport felt like, oh, okay, you know, if I'm first, I have a competitive advantage. I'm out, you know, talking to people, blah, blah, blah. So I, I that's probably one of the things here is um, uh, being new has some advantages, even if the, uh, the full robust capability of reporting is not quite there. So there's a little bit of note taking to say, oh, my message today was this, my message t tomorrow yeah. was that, so that I can, you know, f figure some, I can figure out the correlation between how did that had my statistics bump versus my messaging. Right, exactly, exactly. Okay, so um, uh, we, we, we talked um, quite a bit about the um, residential real estate space. Um, you come from the retail space mm -hmm. um, as, a, as an authority and expert in that topic. So um, I think Matterport service providers are always looking to other verticals Mm -hmm. other than residential real estate to maybe grow their business. Can you, can you speak to uh, Bluetooth beacons meets retail? Um, Absolutely. I, I can. In fact, uh, you know, if you think about when I, when I think about retail, by the way, I think of it in two ways. One is I think of somebody who owns a retail store and I, somebody who might own a restaurant to me, restaurants are kind of fall into the whole retail community. Um, so in, in the retail world, we've got retailers that can message inside their store. And I would tell you anywhere somebody has a product that takes, you know, more education than the shelf can actually deliver. That's a prime retail spot. So think of health and beauty care. Many times supplements. Oh, my gosh, there's so much education to be done with supplements. Um, that's a great category for this. Uh, you know, for a restaurant who's trying to drive traffic to the bar on the weekend, or maybe maybe not the weekend so much because they're busy, but maybe on those Tuesday, Wednesdays when they're slower, um, being able to use a beacon to actually draw people in with some type of offer. Uh, I think in, in those both of those environments, it's really, it's very important to understand what is their objective. So if the objective is, hey, I just want more brand awareness, then we, we got to get more brand awareness messaging out there. If it's because I've got a coupon or offer, then we need to make sure we're using words like discount or save, things like that. So, you know, in my um, 
my, my collective thinking here, part of my, my goal is to, I, I want people to try these. I, I just buy one, give it a try, see how it works. It's a great price for the beacon. It's a great price for the messaging platform. And I'm available, I make myself available to brainstorm with people on how to actually leverage and get the most out of these beacons. And sometimes people want a little bit of hand holding. I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. I've got a little bit of a playbook developed on you know, catchy me messages, catchphrases, things that you might say that might work. And really you have to test it. I can't tell you that any one of them will work in any given space. It's really, um, it, the world of advertising is all about test re and roll out, test and roll out. And, and that it's gonna take a little bit of that. So uh, before watching this show today, I would imagine that many of our viewers have never heard of Bluetooth beacons. They maybe have heard of beacons, but maybe not Bluetooth beacons. Um, and gee, that sounds like a steep learning curve. So I, I think what I've just heard is, no, no, you don't have to be an expert on it. Um, your company, um, Allen Retail Group, um, provides the beacons, provides the uh, consulting support, to help a quick start, the beacon shows up in, in the mail, um, and you're, you're off to the races without really having to understand. Uh, uh, you stay on the on the stay on the path. You've right. predefined. Here's the path. Here's your beacon, or here are your beacons. If you want more than right. one, uh, and and you're there to help. Whether that's in um, residential real estate or in uh, retail. Uh, which is probably a little bit of a dark area for many of our members of a, a black hole of, well, you know, wh what's my messaging do I approach? Right. Um, but it, it sounds like what you're suggesting is to package the Matterport Spaces 3D tour, photos, video, whatever it is that you're providing to a client, along with a Bluetooth beacon, one or more Bluetooth beacons with the messaging. Right, right. And I, I would like, I'm going to put together a uh, face, a closed Facebook page for this. So anybody who joins or buys one can get into that Facebook page. We can talk about, you know, brainstorm from within there. And then, uh, as I told you, I've got an explainer video on it for both small business and for uh, real estate agents. Uh, and I'm going to give you, give them a free explainer video that's branded with their uh, logo so that they can use that in their advertising of, of the beacon. Okay, so you have marketing tools to also help uh, your Bluetooth Beacon client. So um, I, I want to say, if you want to read more about this, uh, while, while your your website for your overall uh, company is is uh, allenretailgroup.com, you have a, a website that you've created specifically for this product called Nearcom, nearcom.info, near spelled uh, N-E-E-R, uh, C-O-M, one word, dot, info i n f o right. uh, n e e r c o m dot i n f o so when i go to so when i go to nearcom dot info um, i can uh, buy a beacon mm -hmm. uh, one or more beacons um, i can learn about beacons uh, how about talking a little bit about pricing is this uh, do i pay for the beacon do i pay monthly yeah. do i what how does the pricing work for this the, the pricing works is fifty dollars a beacon and i've kept the selections to either the one that you have or the outdoor um, because they have the, the highest range and listen all beacons cost the same it doesn't really matter but why would you buy a beacon for 50 bucks that goes 75 yards when you can get one that goes 300 yards right you can always dial it back if you need to uh, with, with, does this one work outside if it's going to rain? It works, that works outside under an over, overhang. It's not uh, it's not watertight. The, okay, the so that so I think that's probably the answer is to say the trade off is if if I want the most distance, then I'll probably pick this particular yes. beacon. Does this one have a name? Um, that's the quad. The quad. Okay, or otherwise known as Dan's beacon. Dan's beacon. Uh, right. <laughs> Dan's beacon. Uh, uh, no, it's not a corned beef sandwich named after me. I just had a, a beacon named after me, uh, the, the quad. Uh, so in this case, this is, I think, the largest physical beacon uh, with the greatest distance. But frankly, if you're planning to put it outside where it's going to rain, then you probably want the smaller one that's designed specifically for being waterproof. Yeah, and well, that yeah, it's actually about the same size. It's just black, and it actually has a... Um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, a gasket that keeps it dry on the inside. So th that one is really for when you have an overhang. You know, if you have a canopy, that's fine for outside. That's also great to go on the back of your um, rearview mirror. 
for the size. The beacon is, uh, the other one is the outdoor is just a little bit larger. It's more rectangular. And if you wanted to drill it into a sign, there's uh, little drill holes and screws that come with it. Okay. So depending on, on what your application, right. there's a beacon for that. Uh, I, I didn't bring it with me on the, the, the show today, but it actually came in a little carry bag mm -hmm. and it had some uh, double-sided tape so that I could mount this in my windshield and just not think about it and drive around with it in my car, put, put it someplace in my car. Right. So it comes with some stuff to, for, for sticky. Uh, I happen to just walk around with it in my pocket uh, when I'm not driving. Um, and, uh, so, so and anyway, it's kind of, kind of, um, interesting for, for me, yeah. so I'm yeah. carrying around. Um, but the, the, come to the website nearcom.com again, N E E R C O M dot info, excuse me, dot info. info. Yeah. Uh, and I can buy a beacon and subscribe to the service. So you want to, you, uh, you also see some, um, some charts there that help you understand the uh, how, how many Androids are in the marketplace. You know, Androids, and I, I don't know why, I can't figure this out, but Androids get far more um, web page initiations than, than iPhones do, uh, significantly more, which just tells you that they're using it on the web far more often than somebody with an Apple. Um, I think we're, I, as, as an iPhone person, I just happen to use my apps for, for searching for stuff more than I do actually surfing, searching for stuff on the, the web. Well, so listen, I, I, I will tell you something when you, and I'm glad you brought that up. What retailers are finding that have apps is their apps are actually keeping a large percent of people out of their advertising. So I have a good friend who works at Walmart and we were talking and she said, uh, we were talking about a different product that I'm, I'm introducing to her, but she said, you know, it, it's got to work with our app. And I said, Kathy, that's the problem. Your app is only going to your app people. What I'm providing will take anybody will be able to see the advertising. She's like, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. I just opened up the window of people that could see this in store. I said, yeah. <laughs> so apps aren't always the best thing because we control them. And when you can actually send it out to a, a living URL, people feel more in control of that experience. So terrific. Um are we talking about pricing today or come yes. to the website to check it out? No, no, no. Uh, the, the beacons are priced at $50 and uh, there's a $25 monthly messaging uh, fee. And if you're going to rent your beacon out or you're charge somebody, I mean, you could charge, you know, 10 or $20 a session or a week, or you could charge $50 a month. I mean, there are people who charge close to $100 a month for uh, messaging, but uh, $25 is, uh, is a really good price point to allow you to add something on so that you're making money on that messaging as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I might be charging $49 a month um, and I may not even show that as a line item. It just may be, it's part of the bundle. And therefore right. when someone's trying to compare, uh, this person provides Matterport and this person provides Matterport, um, how do you make it apples to oranges and you can't compare the two? Right. Um, so that the client who really got excited about that uh, beacon mm -hmm. um, can't really figure out quite what that pricing is because you gave them a bundle of, of uh, Matterport photo, video, uh, Bluetooth beacon, right. uh, et cetera. And this is where I say it's relatively low cost, but very high perceived value. I mean, who else is doing it, yeah. right? You're starting to look like more of an expert in your space. Yeah. Or it could be, as I think as you talked about earlier, is an add-on. So you, you right. literally might have an add-on of $49 a month yeah. uh, and or you, you packaged it. Maybe it was and, $149 for three months. So right. every three months that you got a listing, uh, anyway, and, and maybe right. it's $149 a month and it's, it's some extra for every additional month that you want to keep it. And if you right. want your messages changed, I'll change your messages for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's very easy to do. You know, and I would say, listen, if you have use 10 or five, whatever your number of agents that you work with, but multiply it by that number, you actually begin to have some steady income coming in. Monthly recurring revenue. Got to love that monthly recurring revenue. Yes. Which is my, my mantra. And, and, you know, I, I, you know, I've been thinking, gee, I, I wish I could figure out how to share with the We Get Around Network Forum community how to do monthly recurring revenue. 
Well, okay, if you're doing residential real estate, maybe it's not gonna happen, but if you're shooting a restaurant, if you're shooting a retail space, uh, and the business is planning to be open on an ongoing basis, that's an example of something where you can be billing them for monthly yeah. recurring revenue. And then here's this beacon actually is a monthly recurring revenue add-on to whatever you're doing. So even if you're charging a fixed amount for sh shooting a Matterport space for a, a real estate agent, you have an add-on uh, that, that can be monthly recurring revenue. Right, right. I mean, I'll give you my experience. Uh, just talking with a, a business owner of these blood testing labs, I, I could barely get my pitch out before he said, I want one for each one of my stores. But he did say to me, he said, you need to help me. I don't have time to manage it. I said, I, I can manage it. It's not a problem. So, um, it, which actually led me to doing a uh, 12 videos for him on a specific topic. I mean, it just led into another job for me. It was amazing. But I, I did talk to, in Salina here, I talked to the city and the Chamber of Commerce. We've got Oktoberfest coming up. And I gave her the pricing and she said, oh my God, I, I would pay that for one day. I said, well, great, let's do it then. No, nope, she's gonna have it for 30 days, but we'll hopefully be selling tickets off it. And it's just a matter of figuring out what is that messaging. Yeah, I, you know, I, uh, again, circling back to uh, there are no Matterport service providers that make a hundred percent of their living from Matterport. I would imagine that many of us carry multiple business cards, not the, the same business card for, for our business, but we have other hats that we wear. And I think this, this is the kind of thing to, you know, to, to be interesting and curious to, to learn about. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I guess I, I would encourage you to say, look, just get one. You don't have to order 10 or hundred, you can order one and you're in business, you're in the beacon, the Bluetooth beacon business uh, and play with it. And right. I can't imagine that you can't figure out how to make money with it, either in conjunction with the Matterport 3D tour or Matterport or a single property website for, for, a, uh, for a property uh, or for a, um, for a retail business or for, for that matter, uh, uh, the blood testing that you were describing, like, right. you know, use case, you know, out of nowhere or an event, an event that's going on where you fill up a stadium. Right. Um, well, listen, in that vein, uh, any high school who already sells advertising, a beacon is perfect to add to that package and a beacon can move from one field to a court to whatever. And, that's how these schools are making money. It's uh, it's almost a, it's a. I just talked to Solana High School. It was a very easy. Yeah, that fits right in with what we're doing. Yeah. So I I think some of the temptation might be that you know you 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 watch this show, and you go, wow, I had never heard about Bluetooth beacons. I'm going to Google that, and um, I I think it's possible to you know Google Bluetooth beacons and. Um, your eyes will glaze over and you'll be totally confused. And I, I think I think one of the advantages um, that uh, Allen Retail Group offers, Dorothy, that you offer, is it's the straight and narrow. You don't have to understand anything other than you place your order, you get your beacon, you change your message three times a day or however often you want, and you're done. And it's totally easy to manage the whole process. Then your client, you're managing this process for your clients. And your client doesn't have to know that it's super easy to do this because again, just, I think just your, your client at the, at the, at the um, blood testing center, I, I think kind of said it um, was, I don't have time to learn or understand this. And, you know, before any of us photographers say, well, it's super easy, all you have, no, 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 no. Manage it for your client because it's right. super easy for you to make a lot of money with, without having to disclose that the, the magic is super easy because there's um, a platform that Dorothy uses in order to, um, to, to run this business. Yeah. Um, and I think for anything about succeeding faster in whatever you're doing, attach yourself to a subject matter expert and authority. And, um, you know, uh, uh, Dorothy, Dorothy Allen group comes with your beacon. So when you got questions about, you know, retail or you're close to making, or you, you got an appointment and you want to check before you go into the appointment, you got some questions that you want to ask because you have a client that's a potential, you know, 10 beacons, 
20 beacons, 100 beacons, you got some questions, Dorothy's there to help you succeed faster. Oh my goodness, Dorothy's happy to get on the phone with you at that point or, or be that person on the phone in that meeting as a resident expert. You know, Dan, I, I think the one thing that, that is clear about what you're saying is, and I think what most people um, don't understand is when you bring a solution to somebody who hasn't seen it before, you, you're you becoming not only a Matterport service provider, but you're becoming a resident expert in a, uh, that relationship changes, it actually strengthens. So if you can sit there and actually help them manage it, um, you become a partner in their business. And that's what people are looking for, right? Everybody wants to sell them something. You want to partner with these people and help them make the best of it. It really changes the dynamics in your relationship. Well said. I, it, it's uh, uh, you, you don't want to be thought of as the person. Oh, here comes Dan. He's here to sell me something. You right. want here's comes Dan. He's he always has new great ideas, and he's always focused on helping me make right. more money, succeeding faster. Uh, 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 absolutely going to take Dan's call, absolutely going to do a meeting because it's always something new that's going to help me succeed. And perhaps I've never heard, heard about. So I, I, I'm going to say we're, you know, today we're talking about, you know, again, Wednesday, August 22nd, 2018, we're talking about Bluetooth beacons. And, and this may be a topic you've never heard of. And I think if we fast forward 10 years from now, it'll be one of those topics you say, how could I not have heard about Bluetooth beacons? That it's just like pervasive as a smartphone or a flat screen TV. So right. this is still the opportunity to get in early before anyone else really understands this topic that with this beacon, maybe I think, like you said, is a, a lighthouse always pumping out the the, the light, this is always pumping out, um, uh, um, you know, every second. Um, well, actually, no, it's a uh, hundred times a, a minute. For, forgive me. A hundred times a minute is pumping out um, the the message to be received by a Google a, a nearby enabled phone. Right, right. All right. So, um, uh, Dorothy, is there anything else we want to talk about in terms of these uh, Bluetooth beacons provided by... Allen Retail Group with through its brand uh, Nearcom uh, on the website nearcom.info n e e r c o m dot i n f o. Anything else we should cover? Uh, no, I, I think I think that pretty much covers it. Um, I will tell you, it's uh, Allen is a l l a n retail.com. It's not e n, and it is n double e r c o m dot info. So uh, I'm more than happy. Uh, and we're going to take people's calls and, and, and mess, uh, emails as well. So Okay. N-E-E-R-C-O-M dot I-N-F-O. Right. And, and if you want to see um, her her larger brand and all the, the fascinating, interesting things that Dorothy does, um, allenretailgroup.com with A-L-L-A-N-R-E-A-R-E-T-A-I-L-G-R-O-U-P.com. Right. Allen Retail Group. Um, you know, and, and I think the other thing is if you, if you all want to continue the conversation, we get around network forum. Uh, if you're watching us on the, on our YouTube channel or watching WGAN TV on our podcast, uh, uh on, uh, iTunes, um, uh, you know, join us in the, we get around network forum. Uh, it's, we get around network forum.com. And, uh, Dorothy is an, an active uh, premium member of the, we get around network community. Uh, also, feel free to post your questions there. Um, just search for the topic uh, Bluetooth beacons and you can post there or reach out to, to Dorothy directly. Great. Good. Um, I, I know we have at least one member in the virtual studio audience. Ken, you've been, uh, you've been there patiently. I know you don't have a video camera. If you had a question, maybe you just type it in your chat window for Dorothy. Um, Yep. Don't, I know he's connected, but I don't see him typing. So, um, uh, uh, Dorothy, any parting thoughts, anything else? Uh, no, uh, you know, I've got a couple of things in my back pocket that we'll talk about, but, uh, I think that's it for today. Future show, different topic. Uh, yeah. Dorothy, thank you for being my guest on WGAN TV live at five. Thank you very much, Dan. I appreciate it. Uh, we've been visiting with uh, Dorothy Allen, founder of the Dorothy Allen, uh, group in North Texas and, uh, talking about, uh, Bluetooth enabled or uh, 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 Bluetooth beacons um, meets uh, 
3D tours uh, marketing, um, uh, specifically for Matterport service providers. Uh, if you've missed any portion of the show, we have recorded it and we will post it in the We Get Around Network forum. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Dan Smigrod, founder of the We Get Around Network forum. And uh, th thanks again.